Hey guys, this is Nassim here, and welcome back to Guardian Guides, where I break down all the patterns and teach you how to dodge them. Today's guest is Volganos, and this is a Guardian that I actually would recommend doing solo or with just one support. I'll explain in a little bit, but let's go over the recommended battle items first. The recommended battle items are HP potions, whirlwind grenades, pheromon bombs, and flares. Like any Guardian raid, you should start with a flare to locate the Guardian. Also, Foggy Ridge is a ridiculously large map, and you really don't want to waste time moving around the map. I highly recommend using a Pheromon Bomb so that you can keep Vulganos in the same spot between phases. Finally, Vulganos has a stagger check pattern, which is really beneficial if you successfully stagger him. So if your class does not have enough stagger, Whirlwind Grenades can be a nice choice. Volganos has this interesting mechanic. When Volganos releases this blue smoke under him, you will start to do reduced damage. In order to do full damage again, you need at least 3 stacks of Power of Light. You can obtain Power of Lights by walking through these yellow circles. This can stack up to 5 times, but your damage will stay the same after 3 stacks. For stacks 4 and 5, your movement speed will increase. Velganos can also attack you with Power of Darkness, which is a debuff that increases the damage you receive. This can also stack up to 5 times, and the damage you receive will increase as the stacks increase. Now, the Power of Light and the Power of Darkness steals from each other. Every time you gain a Power of Light, you will lose a Power of Darkness. Every time you gain a Power of Darkness, you will lose a Power of Light. And like I mentioned before, you want to have at least 3 stacks of Power of Light to do full damage. So let's keep that in mind. Now, let's go back to why I recommended going in solo. No matter how big the party is, Vaganos will only drop 3 power of lights each time he drops them. If you have more than 1 DPS, you will have to share these, and Vaganos will be that much beefier. The reason why you can bring 1 support with you is because supports do not have to gain any power of lights, and you can take all of them. When Vaganos crouches and turns yellow, dodge out of this line to avoid damage. Before his long dash, Volganos will turn yellow and disappear. When he comes back, he will dash towards the person with the aggro, so when he appears, check the direction he is facing and dodge out of that line. Volganos hops, turns 90 degrees, and starts shooting feathers from his armpits. The later feathers do a lot more damage, and it is almost impossible to dodge the first few feathers. Right when you see this, make sure you get out as soon as possible before the hard-hitting feathers. Volganos jumps really high, and he will come back down, showing this yellow circle. After he falls, he draws a cross and will damage you if you are near that cross after a second. After you run away from the yellow circle, watch out for the cross first before going in to deal damage. Volganos slams his tail, then swipes it across. Just try to avoid being behind him when he does this. Volganos turns yellow and does a somersault. Then, he will stomp the ground 3 times. Each time, there will be AoE damage. Once you see the somersault, make sure you run away, and if you are a ranged class, this is a good time to deal damage from outside this AoE. Volganos turns yellow and goes into slow motion. He then starts walking in a circle very slowly. This is a stagger check, and if you can stagger Volganos in time, he will drop 3 power of lights. However, if you feel like you won't be able to stagger Volganos in time, you should run very far away because this will kill you. I still recommend staggering because you can obtain more power of lights and you can gain some extra damage during time. Just remember, any stagger you apply before this magic circle shows up will be meaningless. Wait until this circle under Velgana shows up, then use your stagger skills. Volganos will summon a yellow circle in front of him. All party members will have this yellow mark on top of them. One party member's mark will turn black, and that person needs to go inside the circle. Volganos will bite that person and throw that person in the air, but this will not do any damage. If the person with the black mark fails to go into the circle, your party will be wiped. If you successfully get through this pattern, you will get another damage dealing window. For Vulganus' dark patterns, the most important pattern is the slow rain. This pattern is the only one that gives us power of lights. 
There will be rain falling very slowly, which means walking through it before it explodes won't do anything to you. So walk through it and pick up those power of lights if you are not at full stacks. However, if you are on one of them when it explodes, you will gain a power of darkness debuff. Unlike the slow rain, quick rain will explode almost right away. Immediately avoid these so that you won't gain the darkness debuff. The way to distinguish slow and quick rain is to look inside the circle. If the circle is pretty clean, it's slow rain. If the circle is a bit messy, it's quick rain. Filganos hops in place and four dark orbs form by his four legs. A few seconds later, these orbs will shoot out diagonally. If you get hit by this, you will gain a darkness debuff. After the dark orbs, three yellow orbs that just damage you will shoot out from the front and back. Once you see these dark orbs form, quickly go to Felganus' side and you'll have a pretty long damage dealing window. Felganus does a somersault without turning yellow and this means he's about to dash forward. After the dash, he will whip his tail behind him, so if you are approaching it from the back, make sure you wait for the tail attack before going in. Valganos hops in place, then shoots out his breath. This is a pattern you want to dodge at all costs. If you get caught in his breath, you will gain a darkness debuff and will most likely kill you. He also likes to use this right after he knocks you over, so make sure you roll out instantly when you fall. When Valganus is going blue, you can use a counter skill to knock him out, but I do not recommend going for the counter because the risk is just too high. Also, staying under his chin will let you avoid his breath as well. Felganus will bring his body up, stomp in front of him, then spin. The spin will knock you over, which then he will follow up with this breath pattern. So when you see Felganus spin like this, try not to be near him. Felganus will turn red in his last phase. Right after he turns red, he will use his infamous pizza pattern. I will go over the pizza pattern in more detail, but just ignore the first pizza pattern Felganus uses after he turns red. The reason why you just want to wait outside the pizza is because there will be a lot of quick or slow rain inside the pizza area, and you'll be gaining a lot of darkness debuffs. In his berserk phase, Felganus will not be dropping any more power of lights. The only way to obtain more power of lights is to run the pizza pattern correctly. Now, before Felganus does the actual pizza pattern, he kind of gives this fake pizza beforehand. After he does this once, he will use two or three more patterns, then start the real pizza pattern. This pizza is divided into four parts, and the safe zone is the yellow zone. This always starts from behind him, and the direction you want to go is shown with this spiral wind that goes around Vulganos. You can see that the wind is cycling this way, so that'll mean you will have to rotate it in the same direction. I hope this video helped you master Valganos, and I hope to see you in the next episode of Guardian Guides. Alright, peace. I need to know if you'll give me a second chance. They don't come on often, but please, you know I can't stand it when you don't talk to me.